क्वेश्चन नंबर एट रूट सेवन रूट ट्वेंटी वन थ्री रूट सेवन अप टू एन टर्म्स सो फाइंड द सम सो यू हैव ए इक्वल्स रूट सेवन व्हाट इज योर आर रूट ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट सेवन रूट ट्वेंटी वन कैन आल्सो बी रिटर्न एस रूट ऑफ सेवन टाइम्स थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय रूट सेवन व्हिच इज रूट सेवन रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय रूट सेवन रूट सेवन सो यू हैव रूट थ्री सो दिस इज योर कॉमन रेशियो आर इज रूट थ्री व्हिच इज वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू सो दिस इज अ नंबर व्हिच इज ग्रेटर देन वन सो व्हिच फॉर्मूला मैं गोइंग टू यूज एस एन इक्वल्स ए टाइम्स आर टू दी एन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय आर माइनस वन आर इज ग्रेटर देन वन सो एनी नंबर व्हिच इज ग्रेटर देन वन the answer in your bracket will be a positive number so i'm using this formula so sn equals substituting the values i have root 7 times root 3 to the power n minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 erase this and write root 3 root 3 which is 1.732 greater than 1 so what do i have S n equals root seven times root three to the power n minus one divided by root three minus one. I'm going to rationalize the denominator. You see, there is an irrational number, so I multiply it by root three plus one divided by root three plus one. A minus b into a plus b. A square minus b square, so it's root three the whole square minus one square. Three minus one, two. So what do I have? Root seven. Times root three to the power n minus one divided by three minus one. one. Times root three plus one. Don't forget this term. So what do you have? Root seven times root three plus one divided by two times root three to the power n minus one. Okay. Question number nine. One comma minus a comma a square comma minus a cube and so on. Find S n. So what is my a one? What is my r? A two minus a one, which is minus a. S n equals a to the a times r to the n minus one divided by r minus one. So I have. One times minus a to the power n minus one divided by minus a minus one. So what is my final answer? S n equals minus a to the power n minus one divided by. When I take this minus outside, I have a minus here. I get a plus one. And in the next step, when I take the minus inside, I have one minus. Minus a to the power n divided by a plus one. Okay. Question number ten. X cube, x to the five, x to the seven, and so on. Find s n. So what is my a? X cube. What is my r? X to the power five divided by x cube, which is x square. So what is my sum? Simply substituting the formula, a times r to the power n minus one divided by r minus one, which is x cube times x to the power two n minus one divided by x square minus one. Question number eleven. Evaluate sigma k equals one to eleven of two plus three k. So can I distribute this in the term of the nearest number? In the term of the nearest number. So I have sigma k equals one to eleven two plus sigma k equals one to eleven three to the power k. What is sigma k to the one? What is sigma k equals one to eleven of 
2 it is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 11 times correct ah? so what do you have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 11 times now you have 2 into 11 okay so basically when you have such a sigma sigma k equals 1 to 11 times 2 now whatever n value it is it, if it is k equals 1 to n of 2 your answer will be 2 times n okay always remember this so what do you have here you have 2 times 11 plus sigma k equals 1 to 11 3 to the k so you have a 22 here okay we'll have this aside now let's solve this part of the summation. So what do you have? When k equals 1, you have 3. How can I write this? 1 plus 3 to the k. When k equals 1, I have 3. 3 plus 3 is 11. When k equals 2, I have 3 square. Plus, why am I putting a plus? Because it's sigma. Sigma na in a summation. When k equals 3, I have 3 cube. In the mari, I have until k equals 11. So, I have 3 to the power 11. So, what do you see? This is a geometric progression. Correct? Ah? Where your a is 3. What is your r? 3 square divided by 3, which is 3. So, what is the sum of this? You, sub, you, you apply the sum formula. So, Sn equals a times r to the n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Why am I using this formula? Your r is greater than 1. So, in Gepota, your bracket will be a positive number. Equals 3 times 3 to the power n minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So, I have 3 divided by 2. What is your n here? It is 11. So, it is s 11. So, I put 11 here. So, I have 3 to the 11 minus 1. So, this is your S11. This is this summation. So, what is your final answer? In your 22, don't forget the 22 that's here. So, your final answer is 22 plus 3 divided by 2 of 3 to the power 11 minus 1. Okay. Question number 12. The sum of first 3 terms of a GP is 39 by 10 and the product is 1. So, how am I going to take the first three terms? A by R, A and AR. It is easier to take it this way. It is easier for calculation. So, what have they given? The product is 1. So, A by R times A times AR equals 1. Which means R and R gets cancelled. A cube equals 1. So, your A is what is your other equation? A by R plus A plus AR is 39 by 10. A by R plus A plus AR equals 39 by 10. Sum of first three terms is 39 by 10. Find the common ratio and the terms. You need to find what R is. You need to find what the numbers are. So what do you do? A is 1. So I have 1 by R plus 1 plus R equals 39 by 10. I take the LCM on this side. So, I have 1 plus r plus r square divided by r equals 39 by 10. When I cross multiply, I have 10 plus 10r plus 10r square equals 39r. So, 10r square 10r minus 39r. So, you get minus 29r plus 10 equals 0. So, you have a quadratic equation. You can either use the quadratic formula or you do the splitting the middle term. So, 10 times 10 and a 100. You need to get 29. So, you have 25 minus 4. So, it is 10 r square minus 25 r minus 4 r plus 10 equals 0. I can take 5 outside. So, I have 5 r times 2 r minus 5. In give I need a 2r minus 5. So, I take minus 2 outside. Okay. So, I have 2r minus 5 times 
phi r minus 2 equals 0. So what is my r? In this case, phi by 2. And in this case, my r is 2 by 5. Now you need to find the numbers. You find what the common ratio is. Okay. So the numbers are, when r equals 5 by 2, the numbers are a by r. What is your a? 1. a divided by r now, 1 by 5 by 2, which is 2 by 5, comma a, comma a r. What is your a r? 1 times 5 by 2. So 5 by 2. So this is your gp. What if when r equals 2 by 5, what is your first term? a by r. 1 divided by 2 by 5. So I have 5 by 2, comma 1, comma a times r is 1 times r, which is 2 by 5. Okay, this is your other GP. So you have two values of r, so you have two GPs. Okay. 